Hello, folks. Help. Welcome to Barb Makes Things Live. Do, 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 do. Yay. Hi. I was literally like, like 10 seconds ago on another stream, but now I'm here. Welcome. Uh, yeah, let's let's uh let's let's do a let's do a an intro. Bye, mix things. Yeah. Well, welcome. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I am going to be continuing to work on my gecko. Uh, last week, to remind you, I have my. My gecko, the body frame for it. We have the arms with their control sticks. We have the head, which has undergone a little bit of shaping. And last week I said, okay, I want to get the, hello. Yeah, I want to get the legs done quickly. Uh, so I got most of the way through them, but I still need to finish the joints for them and attach them. So the goal today is to get that done. We will see how it goes. I'm gonna pop over to this other screen. I'll also show you what I was doing on this other stream because it was um, it was Amy's Art Cabaret. And as it is World Environment Day, uh, we were doing projects related to that and I made kind of, uh, or started working on this collage from magazine bits and such uh, with with Earth and also Earth and then some space and a flying saucer. Uh, it's not done yet. I'm going to add some more to it, but, you know, it's pretty fun. It did make a uh, mess here on my desk. And then I've got some other things that I might use for future ones like constellations and a sun and stuff like that. So that's fun. That was pretty neat. And now on to this mess. New mess. Here, wait, let me cap this thing. So what we're doing right now is we've got these legs. That one and that one. Hind legs, I suppose, because I imagine that the front legs are legs too. But, you know, kind of if we're making these anthrop anthropomorphizing these creatures, then my gecko might, you know, you'd think of the four legs as uh, arms. And I kind of treat them like that. So, how's everybody doing today? <laughs> All right, I need to plug in my hot glue. Still thinking about names for this creature. And as a reminder, we're gonna be blue. Blue and I think yellow is the goal, is the plan. Stan. All right. So I got that. And I got this. And I got those. Oof. And I got a mess. Okay. So we need, honestly, I'm a little bit less concerned with getting the toes ready than I am. Because like those you can add anytime. I want to get these legs attached. So what I need to do then is I need to focus on using a piece of cardboard here, which I have already. Wow. Yeah, let me cut this piece off, which I have to do kind of off screen because it will just, this won't fit on my desk. So apologies. All right, we've got our cardboard. The way that we did this with the arms, which worked pretty well. This is why it can go a little bit quicker here is there is this kind of quasi box, partial box shape that this goes through. There is a skewer that goes all the way through it uh, and then it can pivot. And then this gets attached to this arm with a pop rivet, which I have. I found the smaller pop rivets 
that I was missing before. Yes. Cool. So I have, let's see, hang on. I need to get uh, things here. Things happening. I need to. Uh, we've got hot glue heating up. And one of the other questions is what am I going to do? What kind of puppet show type thing should I do with this gecko once it is made? Should I have the puppet teaching classes or I'm having treatises on, you know, the importance of, of, uh, of good cardboard etiquette? You know, okay. So let's see, how big do I need this to be? All right. I want it not to be too big because you get it real, real big and then it just gets kind of clunky and in the way. I'm gonna try, let's see. Actually, I wonder if I could do this. I'm gonna try this. I do not have my pencil. There it is. There it is. Boom. Okay. So let's give this a shot right here. I'm going to cut along that spot with my kniff when I can find it. Where are you, knife? Da, 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 da. I gotta not schedule things back to back against each other because then I can't find anything. I know it went. Did it fall? I hope it didn't fall. Oh well. I can use this guy if I need to. Is it? It's my knife. Oh, there it is. There we go. That's good. That's better. That's what I wanted. Okay. Great. And turning my material to cut this. Lovely. Uh, so I'm going to, I think this might work for it. I do need to make sure that there is enough space in the middle for it. So I'm going to measure here. Uh, go like say here and here. So that is, uh, I'm going to measure this. I've got about, uh, so this is like just shy of an inch and a half, and this is just over an inch and a half. Um, let's just make it an inch and a half, shall we? That's an inch and a half. That is there. Yeah, good. That should fit right in between, good. Uh, so what I'm going to do now with those spots is make lines across it, and then I will score it with a um, screwdriver or something so that I can fold it right there. Yeah, this is what's here. I'm going to score it with the back side of the knife. So it did break through but it did not cut all the way through the entire thing. Uh, I did a real interesting job with those lines. Because that's not terribly straight. What did I just do there? That's weird. Okay. So we go bloop and bloop like so. That's good. And then we go like this. All right, so this can work. It's going to need to, I'm going to need to carve off the edges of this, which I was kind of expecting. So that's fine. I need to round this off so that it can move. Cut, 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 cut. Yeah. Okay. 
then I don't recall how I did the bottom on the other one. Ooh, I don't want this to go too much, actually, because I do want that there. I forgot. Okay. Stay, please. Okay. So this goes here, and then it can pivot. Good. Great. I'm going to need a hole through here. So let's punch a hole. I'm going to go... Bloop. And... If I go straight through, I've already kind of created that hole. I might have to cover this up to make uh, that spot strong again. Because I have just messed up the support that I had underneath. That's okay. I can do that. Oh, I have scraps of cardboard over here. Perfect. So I will take this. I will peel one wall and I'll glue it on top. Yeah, that'll be good. That'll help things out. Um, but I do want this spot. So let's do this. Let's make a very small hole right there. Nope, right there. So now I just need to make sure that this is in the right spot. So screwdriver, hole, put this through the hole on my screwdriver. See, now I can, I don't have to worry about, the thing I was concerned about before was getting too much glue there and then having a hard time getting a hole through there. But now I don't have to worry about it. I may, if I'm not quick, have to worry about getting the screwdriver out of the hole, but I'll just have to be fast. I can do that. Cool. All right, and then glue, 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 and squash. Cool. Yes, good, good. Through here, through here. Excellent. Now, this does not have to be as long as this as I made it. Uh, it really only needs to be mm, to like right around there, I think. Mm. Yeah. Let's make a hole here. Cool. So that's going to go to here. Let me get a skewer for my hinge, which goes in here. And then, and then in here. And then in here. Nice. And then it's going to need to go through the other one, but I wanted to just check. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Oh, I remembered something about when I did this before. Okay, so I want it to be able to move. Maybe like this is as far back as I want it to go. So this is where the back of it'll be. And I'll just do it right along that same crease. I was going to say something. I don't remember what it was. What was I going to say? I don't recall. <laughs> Yeah, what was I going to say? I have no idea. Oh, well. So I can use... This is not big enough to use for that. It is big enough to use for this, though. Uh oh. I can use this. Okay. Use this extra piece to help me create this structure. That's always nice. You can just use your scraps. Cool. So then I go like this, and I attach that there, and that there. Yes. I'll have to redo that hole, but that will not be a problem. So we go zoop, 
Zoop, zoop. Glue. And then I'm going to stick a little bit more glue right in this joint here so that it is well attached. This really can just kind of work like a flat thing. Yeah. So see, I'm going to go like that. And then I'm going to go like this. And then this, uh, this is a little bit too long. So I'm going to shorten this just a smidgen. Hopefully I'm not cutting all the way through. Just through this one part. So I'll go gentle. Yep, 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 yep. Cool. So we have this off. Excellent. This can bend. This will go like that. This will go inside here. You need to be a little shorter on this side. Yes, like so, like so. Great, that will do. Perfect. All right, it's glue time. Put some right in that edge so I can make sure it stays right where it meets the next one. I'm going to need a new glue stick here pretty quick. Yeah. There we go. I like it. Now I have four walls. Which is all I need. I am going to need to redo these holes so that this goes through here. Good. And then at the bottom, oh, this is kind of peeling up. I might need to put a little more glue in here. Just, just a touch right there. Can I get any here or is it totally? Yeah, no, just a smidgen. That's good. Great. Okay, so I have this, and then I need to have a hole right across from it, which that looks, this is a little bit crooked. That's all right. I'm going to go there. There it is. Perfect. Now I have a hole that the skewer can go through. Uh, and before I actually glue this thing in, I have learned this from putting the arms joints onto the body. I should attach this first. <laughs> so for that, I think I might try to make um, my second one before I do that. I mean, I can check this. Let's test it first. So it goes through here. Let me test these holes, make sure they get them big enough. All right. So we have this lined up here. That goes there. This goes through that hole and that one. Yes. So see that? That's good. It still needs to be trimmed a bit. Because things are bumping in to each other. <sighs> Who needs to be trimmed? I mean, this thing, I think, or else this needs to be larger. Uh, I really think this needs to be larger. I think I messed it up. Yeah, because this is bumping here, and I don't want to cut too much off of this because I think it might be wrong. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna make it bigger. Larg. It's not time wasted. I just learned something. It's just frustrating. 
All right. But at least I found out before I attached it to the thingamajigger. Uh, I do know that this distance is fine. This is this is cool. Um, and the back legs don't need to move quite as easily as the front legs, because I'm not planning on these moving a lot. Uh, so I this distance is fine. This distance is good. And that was the, the one and a half inch, I think. Is that the one and a half? Oh boy, how did I do this? Uh, this dimension. This one, which is, yeah, yep, that's the one and a half. Okay. So I needed, I was doing one and a half, one and a half, one and a half. Those are fine. It just needs to be longer in this direction. Great. Okay. And this was four and a half altogether total. Good. I am remembering eh, four and a half ish. One and a half, three, four and a half. And then again, line you up. One and a half, three, four and a half. I'm just going to do this whole thing and probably not use all of it, but that's okay. Do I want it to go this way? I mean, this is the way I did it before. Yeah, that's okay. So for this, this time, instead of using the knife, I'm just going to use a screwdriver. My measurement is better. Good. There we go. Yes. So now I have this. And it'll go like that. The hole. This was a decent distance in. That's about half and half the distance. So that's okay. So let's just stick a hole around halfway through here. Uh-huh. And then halfway through the other way. This is, gosh, here's the problem. The problem is not that it's hard for me to get that middle point. The problem is that I'm trying to simultaneously figure it out for myself so that I can see it and move this and align it so that you can see what I'm doing too. Ah. There, 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 sure. We'll call it there. That looks about right. Okay. So let's try this again. This, this, that, that. Cool. You know, I might not actually need ends on this at all because I have this stick that's holding the top and the bottom. That would be kind of cool if I didn't need that at all. In which case, if that's the case, I can use this. I just cut out this back part. Oh, oh, that'd be so cool. Wouldn't that be cool? If I like had accidentally done things right. <laughs> if I had accidentally done things right. I like it, okay. Trim this down just a smidge, just a scosh. What's the what's the origin of that term? Cool. So like so. Let me see. Is this better? Line up their holes. Line up. Line up. Go through the other side. Don't poke yourself. Eh. Oh, there we go. That's nice. Very good. Great. In that case, I'm going to try cutting this part off and see if I can actually still use this piece like I thought I wouldn't be able to. That would be swell. So we go here. 
this is one of my big concerns about these, these hind legs, which are larger. And thus I was concerned gonna have huge freaking joint hip things to hold them in place. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. That works. That totally works. When I have the things on top of this, it'll like definitely stay like that. Knock on wood. It should be good, I think. I think that'll work. Okay, that's exciting. That's exciting. Okay. Bah, blah, blah. Poke a hole. This is a different hole. Actually, this hole I want to be more precise. So, a big hole punch. This is actually my new one. I got this one. This is mine. The others, uh, the other one I was borrowing from work because I do stuff like this at home and um, for work. But I'm like, I want my own at home. That's just for me. So welcome new toy to the Barb Makes Things Workshop. The Crocodile Big Bite. Cool. So I have holes here and I'm still gonna need this. I will cut across this to, and hang on to that just in case I find that, no, I was right in the first place and I can't use the thing. Um, so now I need holes in the hips of this thing. Should I clean something here? Let me let me clean this this up a little bit so that we can see what the heck's happening. Let's move that and let's move this and all the other things that right here exist. You, 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 knife, good, steak, scissors. All right. It's just tough doing all this stuff on a smaller desk. Um, I'm going to need hot glue at some point. I need my popper bits. Oh, but I need the long ones, which I have. There's one. And that'd be hilarious if I couldn't find a second. Well, here's one. Here's one. There we go. Boom. Two long pop rivets. Excellent. Then I don't need the small ones right now. I will. Okay. So we have that and we have that and we have that and we have this. Okay. I can see things again. Maybe you can too. All right. So these are going to be attached on the side over here and over here. Let's go, let's go right around the same spot like this. Like so, pop. Oh, I love this tool. Oh, how I love this tool. Uh, 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 here. Okay, that should be good. I did like that. Yeah, that looks good. So the way that I did this before to make sure that it didn't go too far was that I used a one of those jump rings. I don't know where I put my jump rings. I mean, I can use one straight from something else. That's fine. This little hook here on the, um, on this, uh, here's suction cup. Seems like it's about the right size though. So I'm just gonna put that on there and that'll help me keep the correct distance. Um, pop riveter. Riveting pops. Rivet ing. Okay. 
All right. So I need. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. I also need. <coughs> I need to breathe. That's what I need. I need my washers for these pop rivets. I've got the pop rivets. I need at least one washer for each. I had some nice small ones for it. Let me check. Over here, uh, whether I have the larger ones, I should have, I should do somewhere. No, where's the rivets? Not the rivets, the, 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 the washers. Okay, let's see. Let's try this little container of doodads. This might have washers. Well, I mean, like, yeah, that's a washer, but it's too big <laughs> by a lot. <laughs> uh, ooh, 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 I see one. Hiding in the bottom of this thing, there's a giant bearing. And, oh, I saw you, Washer. Where'd you go? Do I have to dump all these out? Oh, I really hope not. But I think I might. Wait, I'm going to be smart about this. Ha! See that? Dumping out, out onto a thing that I can more easily pour back into the container. Ha! That's great. That's using your noggin. Okay. Here we go. Perfect. Little washer. And <laughs> that's a small one that might work. It's not the same kind, but I can try it. Uh, if I can't find the same thing, we will use that. It'll probably work. Probably work. Wow. Toss this guy out too. I think it's too big, but whatever. Okay. Careful. 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 Go, go, go. Go in the thing. Yeah. Oh, look at that. So much less mess to clean up than if I just dumped it on the table. Yay. Exciting. Okay, so now uh, I have my long pop rivets. These are the other ones. Yeah, that'll totally work. That will 100% work. Um, this one, that's okay. Uh, and I don't think I need to worry about the other side of it. No, I don't, because this hole is very sturdy on here. Um, you want the larger side of it to prevent this from going through something soft like cardboard that you do need to worry about. So that's where the washers come in handy. This side will be okay. So I'm gonna do it like this way instead of the way I did it last time. All right. Pop in the pop rivet, good. And then, oh, I thought so. Another little piece just fell out the back. All right. And then I will feed this through that hole there. Good. And then I will put the joint on. And then I will put, I can't believe I didn't do it this way before. This is so much easier than what I did previously. <laughs> okay. Wait, where's my spacer? Spacer, spacer, spacer. This little guy. So when this pops through, hello, H-Man. Uh, when it pulls this, it's going to pull it tight. Uh, I don't want it to be tight, tight. I want it to be, to have a little bit of wiggle. So I'm adding this. Oh, this is being problematic because this sticks out. How about that way? Is that better? Uh, 
I could do better than this. Okay, I want an alternate thing. About the same size. Uh, I can also just like pull out another piece of wire <laughs> because I also have that. Just a little glunk of wire. Bend it into a little half hoop. And then I will have like that. Boom. See that? The most hacky little spacer that ever you did see. So, okay. So I have this. So there's the riveter. There's the pop rivet. There is the, the hips. There's the spacer. There is the um, thingamabobber that's going to be holding the leg in place. And then there's that. Oh my gosh. If you saw the other one where I was attaching these and I was just struggling with trying to make it work, you will know how absolutely, like I should have done this in the first place. Because this is so much easier. Boo. Ha. Cool. That was real long. This is super long. Why do I, do I need a one that's this long for this? I don't know. Oh, well, let's get uh, this spacer out. It's holding it pretty tightly. There. Ah, see that? Look at all that wiggle. Look at all that space that we have. That's real nice. Now, see, this is my concern, actually, is that this is like too much stuff right here. It's going to get in the way of the arm trying to move. Did I have this problem here too? I feel like I'm using... Was this thicker? This was thicker. This was twice as thick. Wow. I might only need a, a short pop rivet for, for these. Uh, this will probably be okay for right now. I'm going to toss it on and see. So, leg and skewer and leg and back through there see that yeah and it works it moves oh check that out it's good and it turns yay oh i'm excited okay this is great cool let's attach the other one before i glue that thing on oh i'm so excited let's look at these these other pop rivets. Oh yeah, those are too short. Those are much too short. Like that's kind of too long, but that's way shorter than I need for, you know, bridging that big space. So long it is, it's not too much of a problem. Okay, so do this again. Pop rivets into the riveter, then through the hole. Come on now. There you go. And then my spacer. Boop. And then the cardboard piece. Yep. And my washer. My little washer. Okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. Do you see it deforming? There you go. Yeah. What did I just knock over? I knocked something. Ooh, see, and this is the end piece. The, uh, this is the stick that, like, the stick, the little wire that pops off of it. Um, this is what's left over afterwards. There we go. So now I just need to get my spacer out of there. Oof. Spacer off. A little bit of wiggle. Yeah, so this is not quite as wiggly as these are, but that's okay. Like I said, these, no, see, that's a pretty, that's still a pretty decent uh, amount of um, space. Ha! Ha! Oh, that's great. Okay. Let me move these, these things. Cool. 
Okay, let's then let's stick these in here. So my glue gun is hot. I do need the pieces for the top and the bottom of these. And those I actually want to be a little bit neater than I did for all of these because those are going to be on the outside. Uh, where did I? There's my scissors. So I just need little squares. Mm -hmm. There is one. I don't want that. There's two. There's three. And four. Perfect. Perf. <laughs> the sound effects. What, like my voice sound effects make everything better? Or the actual effects of like things getting uh, smashed around? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, the life needs sound effects. Anybody who's worked or has, anybody who has worked in production audio knows that real life does not sound like sound effects. So you gotta make your own sound effects. Where was I? Uh, there, this. Good. Okay. How did I do this? I'm trying to remember. Okay. We'll go through, did I want to glue that? Oh, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember. Okay, I poked kind of partway through this because I'm making like a little, um, I wonder if this is gonna have trouble. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna use these like washers, like I normally would for uh, like cardboard washers because on these, part of what makes the um, the stick stay in here and everything stay in place is that the, um, like the stick is just held in place between these, but that only works because these are held together with that. If there wasn't, you know, like this other back side keeping these from falling apart like this, the stick would fall out. So I'm going to instead do it more like these hinges where there's a stick that goes through and then it is glued onto this outside part. And that's this like little kind of washer rivet head type situation. So that means I need holes in these guys. Do 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 Yeah, there we go, cool. Poke. That was a really satisfying poke sound. Can I do it again? Yeah. This stuff is like, this is nice. Pop. I think part of the benefit, like I took off my headphones because I'm not actually listening to anything. And I'm not using the speaker, I'm using my microphone, not the speaker on my headphones. So I don't need that. I can hear all of the magic happening. I like it. Okay. So first step is to glue this thing in. Let's do it like this. Glue that in place with, um, with my hot glues. I'm going to do like this. And then I'm going to push it up a little. So some of that glue maybe can get underneath the hole a little bit. And then I'm going to just like Glob this stuff all over it. Make like a little mountain, like a little solder mountain. Squirt, squirt, squirt. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Let's straighten that out and let it dry. So that's one rivet in progress. No riveting jokes, please. <laughs> Riveting content, Barb. I tell people not to make the jokes and then I do it myself. Yep. Welcome to Barb Makes Things. <laughs> okay. So let's get this guy in. Do the other one. A little bit of glue. A little bit of glue. A little bit of glue just like that. Do, 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 do. And then some more, please. 
More glue. More glue. More glue. Do 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 so I might, what I might do is on all of those other ones where I'm making these kinds of like cardboard rivets, they are bamboo skewers. Bamboo skewers are really, really handy for so many things. Um, like I've got a whole big stash of, um, of dowels, uh, of square dowels, of, of various sizes and widths of skewers. These ones are fairly thick. Um, bamboo skewers are just so, so useful. Um, I use them all the time. So that guy, let's let you dry over here. In the, this is why it looks so messy because I have all these scraps of, uh, of stuff from that uh, collage that I just made. I'm going to have to do more with. It's a pretty cool collage. I'm liking it so far. In case anybody missed it from the beginning. Collage. My world environment day collage. They are, yes, they are handy and inexpensive. They're very useful. You can also just kind of snag other kind of small stick things like that as well. Um, I've used things like pencils for same kind of thing. Sometimes like, like if you're just outside and you find like little um, little twigs that are decent and sturdy, like you snag those guys too. And then you don't have to like buy something or have someone else, you know, somebody produce more, more sticks to, uh, you know, cut down some bamboo to do that. Um, Yes, this. That's what I was doing. Okay. Let's attach a leg. So this goes through here. And then through here. Can you see what I'm doing? Go away, scraps of paper. Okay. Through here. Through there. And through this bottom piece. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, it works. It's gonna work so nicely. Uh, this is bumping into stuff though still. Before I do it, and the leg goes like this. What's oh, bumping so much? Actually, maybe this one should be on the other side. No, this is okay. You're bumping into, what are you bumping into? I'd like a little bit more. Yeah, I suppose this is okay. It's a decent distance. Just if I'm going to have to trim it, it's easier to do before I glue it in place. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let's, uh, yeah, let's glue this guy onto this part, this little C uh, structure. There. That. Good. And that will hold that stuff in place. So the only thing that's going to be able to pivot, it's not going to be like both stick and leg pivoting. It's only leg pivoting on the stick. Which, again, is fine. The legs don't need to move as easily as the arms. Oh boy. I should be taking the sticks off of these arms while I'm trying to do this. Makes it much easier. Okay. Stick you through here. Through my other one. Come on now. Squash. Neat. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to do hot glue first, push it in place, and then do the hot glue on the outside of the stick. Squash, squash, squash. Make sure this is in the right spot. That's got a, enough wiggle room. Yes, ouch, that's hot. 
And then I will glue this in place. Yeah, cool. Okay. Let that dry. How are we doing on time? 2.51. Oh, my goodness. It's coming up on the... Uh, coming up on the end, but I want to get, well, you know what? We're really close to getting these legs attached, actually. Um, okay. That's the hands end. This is the hip end. So I need to get this carved down while that dries. Stay. Uh, where'd you go, pencil? There. And canary cutter. Da, da, da. Yes. Maybe I should put the hole in there first. Cool. All right. Do a little bit more trim trim. Totally overdid that. Wow. I, yeah, no, I really. <laughs> I, I may have one whole, one leg that's a lot shorter than the other. I was just going real fast on that and not paying too close attention. Okay. We need a hole right here. Pop. And through the next one. Yes. <laughs> Whew. They're 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 mowing the lawn outside. I don't know if you can hear that, but that makes things interesting. All right, I have this. I have that. Let's stick this skewer in from the bottom because you know why not? Actually, oh wait, this is upside down. So it needs to be, well, it, it spins all the way around. It's not a problem. It spins all the way around and it doesn't have a front or a back. So it doesn't super duper matter here. I should have, okay. Need to make sure that these holes are big enough for it to be able to pivot well. Because again, this is the only spot where it does that. Just a little bit bigger. Use a pencil, something like that. Give them a smidge larger. Okay. All right. So where was I? Like that. In here, in here, and then through this hole. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is working. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so messy looking. I love it. We're gonna have to clean it up. It'll be good. Yes. Okay, so let's get some glue in here. Under this skewer. Skewer. I did just call it a skewer. Skewer. Squish. Squish, 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 squish. Good. Okay. Is there any on the other side? Yeah, that's good. Okay. And then lay it like yeah, much stuff. I need a bigger table to work with. Okay. And then my last little square washer deal is this one. Yes. Which again I glue first. Do glue underneath here. And then squash that on. Make sure that my spacing is good, which it does look like it's pretty decent. Cool. And then add my glue at the top here. 
to lock this thing in. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. And let's cut off this extra. Which I'm going to grab so it doesn't go flying and hit the camera. Ugh. Nice. Pop. And then we got to let you dry. I don't want to start cutting that and moving it around while it's still trying to dry. <gasps> you guys, look! It's good. It works. I think it's going to work. Oh, that's so cool. The question is, do I do... So, okay, so I was, like, looking around with... Think, thinking about how to do the arms and the legs and how that they should how they should move oh boy i might have to do something where i'm like moving my camera around um the way that gecko's legs tend to go it's more like this um it's more like this rather than this so i was thinking about in order to keep that kind of bent leg thing putting like a little piece of elastic or uh, maybe some clear elastic. Am I blurry? Clear up there from camera. Hello. Are you clear? That's okay. That's better. Um, what's up, kitty? It's not time for food yet. It's not time for dinner. Um, I was going to put like, I'm thinking like a little piece of elastic, maybe um, some transparent something or other um, so that it can move, like it can straighten out, but it kind of goes back to this point. Um, cause I kind of like having a little bit of a, a bend to the, to the legs as a natural state. How are you? Ooh, I think you're dry enough. Not a hundred percent dry, but dry enough. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got the legs on. Ah! Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Uh, I do still need some toes. So let me get, make some toes for the other, the other hind leg. See that? Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, it's great. Uh, okay. How big are these toes? No, honey. All right. Uh, like that. And go like that. Um, bloop. And bloop. Bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. Blub, blub, blub. Blub, 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 blub. Yeah. That'll do. Okay. I'm going to peel off one side. Yeah. Peel, peel, peel. Peel, peel. Yes. Excellent. Good. Kitty. Oh, kitty cat. No, this is not a good place to be right now, honey. No, no, no. Ow, sweetie. Oh. Goodness gracious. Oh, I would, I would let you see the cat, but like this is like not, not a good time for it. Uh, not when I've got all this stuff here and knives and sharp things and just messes to be made. All the messes. Oh, did she spill? No, he didn't spill anything. Okay. Hmm. I did almost knock over my drink. That's why you can't come up here when I've got all the stuff on the desk. Two. Two toes. Ah, 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 ah. Making them too big is easier than making them too small. Because you can't cut things bigger. OK. 
can. Mm -hmm. That's oh my gosh. It almost feels like I'm some some part of me is like is like, oh wow, is the is the gecko almost done? No, not really. But I mean, you know, it's 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 looking a lot more done than it has in the past. I'm gonna have to figure out what I do after the gecko at some point too. Though I might only be thinking that right now because well, if anybody else watches Critical Role, they just ended campaign two. And I'm like, <gasps> I finished watching it this morning. It was like, oh, this, this, this is so sad. It's great. It's a great story. They're going to move to campaign three, but oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Do I have five now? No, I have four. One, two, three, four. How are we doing on size with these? I've got your biggish. Your blur, 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 blur. Okay, one of these can be my final toe. Toe, 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 toe. <laughs> Look at this. Toe to toe. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, I'm so funny. <laughs> okay. Last one. Please don't unsubscribe because of my bad jokes. Thank you. I can't help it. It's genetic. And as a reminder for anybody who didn't see the others, the reason that I peeled one side of these fingers is so that they would be easier to, to bend. They look like circus peanuts. These do? What's that? Working for peanuts? Something like that? There's, there's some kind of joke in there. Peel. Peel these. Oh my gosh, we are so close to having like the the hind legs, the base of the hind legs done. That's exciting. I should do all things at like high speed. Well, no, that's not true. That is not an accurate um, statement. But I should try to do my projects a little bit quicker sometimes. I think the first parts, there's like so much experimentation. By the time I got to like this, I mostly knew how everything was supposed to go. And like how to make the, ah, come on now. There we go. How to make the legs, uh, how to make the joints work properly how to make these fingers, how to carve things so that they'd fit, yada, yada. Okay. Let's see. Can you see that? Yeah. Da, 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 da. There is that and that and that. Uh, do I have these on the wrong sides? Yeah. Big. <laughs> Uh, okay, this needs to be, I think, is that okay? No, it needs to go up a little bit more. I need more of this flat part to glue on. Like so, yes, good. Okay. So let's glue that guy on. Big toe. Oh, put it on here. 
put it on the smaller thing so that you know how much you need. And you don't put extra glue. Unless you want extra glue. Which I do not. Uh, you are going to be the pinky toe. So you're going to be smaller. Oh, you're already pretty darn small. Okay. Blue. And there. Yeah. Boom. Good. And then let's see. Let's go middle one here. Uh, yeah. Do some glue and then the middle finger. You will note that I did not put the middle finger on first. That is intentional. This is a family friendly channel. Not, you know family aimed necessarily, but, uh, you know, I'd like anybody to be able to watch. Okay. I'm almost there. Oh, I'm way over time, but that's okay. We're almost done here. Oh, I'm excited. This is great. Okay, the question now is, what is the next step? <gasps> Yay! <laughs> we have the toes and the, and the legs and the arms and the fingers. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, no, it was like that. It's like that. Oh boy. Okay. Here, I'm going to switch the camera over here so that we can see it from the main one. This is going to be a lot easier to see here. Uh, in fact, I'm going to have to, re I'm going to have to adjust my, um, my camera angle so that it, um, so we'll be able to see this because this is getting pretty big. Where's the head? Come here, you. Ha. There's the head. Okay. Head, arms, or forelegs, hind legs, wah, like that, like that, hmm, 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 I don't know how I feel about that, it's interesting, I think they might need to come in more. I look, I look bow-legged. I know. You really do. Hmm. Like if I carve this down a little bit more, then they can go more bent down that way. Yeah, I'm gonna have to mess with this a little bit. But they're on. We have legs. Yay. Cool. So this is progressing. Um, at some point, I'm gonna have to figure out tail. Um, I think for the n next week, I might come back up here, um, fix the, uh, switch out this cardboard kind of cuff for um, plastic lamp piece like this one. Um, maybe do some more shaping, add like the sides of the head um, and get it to the point where I can start figuring out how to attach the, um, the probably fabric that I'm planning on using. Uh, yeah, and figure out the legs, tail, and then we'll do like fabric over this. Hee! Hey, look at that. I am looking more like a puppet these days. I also need to learn how to do puppetry because I'm not very good at it, but that's all right. All right. Anyway, thank you for joining for this this uh, Saturday, 2 to 3 p.m. Pacific time, Barb makes things live 
stream. And I'll see you next week. Have a great weekend.